Hello there, namaste. So I just finished watching the movie, uh, L.O.C. Uh, Cargill, and I gotta say, I gotta be completely honest, I preferred Border over this movie, mainly because Border, the way it started out, just kind of seeded a good everyday soldier's life, so the flashbacks had a, a, had a reason to be there. It just felt more wholesome. This movie starts out with soldiers, and I, I, I always feel it when I see soldiers down in the line of duty. I always feel it. So immediately they got me with that. They start off with uh, the, uh, the base calling in to find out if the alpha team will respond. It's like alpha calling uh, uh, Charlie or whatever. Alpha calling Bravo, please respond constantly over and over again. And then for the camera, just pan back and show all the bodies of the, the dead soldiers. I mean, that was right there i knew exactly what he was trying to go for immediately and again just like the just like in border it's they go off to war immediately however the difference here is they're going into live combat not to just guard a post they're going into territory that has already been taken over they have no numbers of the units that are defending the the their terror the the in defensive positions they have no numbers of the equipment the weapons they're using nothing and it is so much more tense. I did not like, absolutely did not care for the flashbacks. Because it's like, every character gets one. And I had issues with that because then, honestly, the only song I like started up. The problem I had was that song, as I felt, and I still believe that it belonged at the end of the film. There is something about the women singing about how they will wait for the ones they love. And then you get the chorus of the men t singing about how they're marching off to the border. Would be so impactful with the scenery, with the scenes of those soldiers who the women are waiting for are basically being bundled up and set in coffins to return home to be to be burned, to be buried. I mean, that right there, even while I was thinking about it, while I was watching it, would be, uh, when I was thinking that I started to, to get a little choked up because it was more impactful than what I saw because right there, it was just a flashback. It was just the soldiers driving off to the location. It was just the spouses, the, the loved ones back at home who were just doing their everyday thing. It didn't have the same impact. And then there was a song in the middle that I just, it didn't work for me because it was like, we just had a lot of the characters who had an established backstory at that point die off. And then you give me another song trying to establish the exact same thing. It wasn't as good as the first one because it just didn't feel like it belonged anywhere. And then the last song, yes, it worked. But after I had that vision, like the pro that's the problem. I envisioned it at the very beginning. And still, even now, even comparing it to all the other, the th two other songs in this movie, the one at the very beginning, the one at the 40 minute mark belonged at the end. Honestly, if you were to, to take that, that music and put it under the visuals at the very end, I, I promise it'd be much more impactful. I know for a fact it'd be much more impactful. From what I read of the dialogue, the subtitles were off. They, and the audio kept cutting out because they would curse and they removed the curse words and, the, it, from what I know of Hindi, because I've been studying it or trying to learn it, I was like, yeah, those words don't line up. That's not what they're saying right there. And then it would kind of say it later in a, in, a, in a sentence. But I was liked the war aspect. Other than the flashbacks, other than everything else, it was the fact that they were having to take back territory and the lives that were lost. The fact that they had a disclaimer at the very beginning saying, oh, we were only able to spend this much time on these regiments. That doesn't mean these other regiments. And they named, they were like naming the lists off and what they did and what they did for, or were for. It was like, it doesn't mean they did, were any, any less influential. And I was like, yes, respect. Show respect to the other ones who were involved. You don't want to disrespect anyone. And I was like, I like that. You just have a few seconds, a bit of text at the beginning, letting people know that there was much more, which means a lot more life was lost and a lot more went on in the background. It was powerful film to watch. It's just every time they did a flashback, it just felt like it was strong armed in because the way they established it, you don't need a flashback to let us get to feel the emotional impact of these soldiers losing their lives for their country. We don't need that. We don't need the flashbacks to know. The one thing I did like 
was when they used the satellite phones to call home and basically what they were saying was goodbye. I liked that. The problem I had with that scene at the afterwards is it led into another song and I was just like, no, no, the and a few flashbacks. But I liked some aspects and I was unhappy about other aspects. This, this film was a lot slower, a lot slower, because there was a lot of walking sequences. There was a lot of that stuff. There was a lot of parts where battalions had to keep switching uh, and companies and joining other companies and assisting other companies. And honestly, if I didn't have the text at the beginning, I would have, at, like at the bottom of the screen, I would be completely lost. I would have been absolutely lost. But it was amazing seeing so many uh, faces that I recognize on the film. There's something about these, these older war films that seem to have a lot of famous faces because i was watching i was like oh this is like black hawk down which had a ton of faces but yeah i gotta say this movie uh, for me it's like a, a one-time watch it, it wasn't as impactful as border mainly because border knew how to just get you to like the soldiers on the ground because they had instances in this movie where uh the character the actor from family man is with like the uh, has like a best friend in the army they have this joking bit on the truck while they're doing a ton of flashbacks. They have this little back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, which was a long shot. Like the whole thing was done in one take, except for they added a flashback in the middle of it, which kind of took from it for me. But it was them talking about their loved ones, just joking with each other, just having fun. I like that dynamic. There was a scene where uh, one, the one captain was basically outside the phone booth teasing the other lieutenants or whatever, who were on the phone with their spouses, just teasing them about that stuff. And then one of the lieutenants basically talks to him about it. And then they kind of break the break it because, oh, this guy knows nothing about humor. That's him just trying to be fun. And then they, they shake hands. And it was just like the little things about war. I was like, those little things I enjoyed. The flashbacks, I did not. I did not. <laughs> but other than that, it was, it was just tragic to watch. Tragic to go through. And it's just absolutely disgusting because it was like here are these soldiers that can't do anything and it just reminded me of the the the, the line because i, I want to get my grandfather's thing uploaded and it reminded me of the line he says where it's just he's just there to do his duty he can't he's not there to have any questions he's not there to you know try to change anything he's just there to do his job when you sign up for the military when you sign up for the army when you sign up for the air force when you sign up for whatever thing you're just there to do the job you're there to follow orders that is it and it's just throughout this thing that's all it was because you would see like what why wouldn't you just cross the loc cut off the the it's just like there's so many things why why i never got an answer for it it's just that was the order the order was they could not cross the loc the line of control and in my mind i'm like why not but then again that's my mind for me if someone like if someone tries to take your territory you, you would think you would have the right to kind of go around because okay uh, neighbors take neighbors for instance so my parents live on a big plot of land their neighbors tried building their fence into my parents land and their issue was like they were saying like no it's not a big deal it's only a meter onto your land it's not much but that's taking land imagine that nationwide but it's like a meter of land and then my my dad was all smart and he was like well then just put it a meter on your side and of course that's when they left it on their side i mean it, it's it's funny because it's like you have to stop these kind of things you can't allow it to take root and in my mind i'm like Go take it, hit a punch back, hit a punch back, hit a punch back. I think that's why I enjoyed Surgical Strike because it was like a preemptive strike and it's like one of the few India has done. And I think that's why I like that one because this one is just like, why not? Why can't you go across the LOC, cut off their supply line, and then basically leave the people in the middle stranded so that way they have to leave? Sure, they're still getting choppered in some supplies, but at that point in time, there's no nothing real new coming in. But you know what? I don't know. I, I'm not into that political landscape. <laughs> I just know that this movie was just so... Oh my gosh. Because I, I kept noticing that the guns weren't firing. The guns were like click, 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 click. They'd make a sound, but there was no barrel muzzle flash. There was none of that extra stuff. There was no bullet flying out of the chamber. It, it, and it was just like, I know it's all fake, but I don't care. Because it was the emotion that was basically carrying the whole thing. That was the issue I kept having with the flashbacks. It was like they had you 
tugging your tugging your cord of like the the what military has to deal with yes it lets you know that they leave loved ones behind but honestly they could have done that with just the phone call home they could have done that with uh flashes at the very end during the song that i would have preferred the very end just because it would have been a good rounded thing and it would have probably shaved off a good 30 40 minutes yeah, and it would have probably shaved off a good 30, 40 minutes of the film because it was just too long. And it was just like every time the flashback came, every time one of those songs came on, at that point in time, I'm like, I already know you're trying to take me out of the movie. You're just putting it here. If like, if you wanted to be four hours long, take out the flashbacks and add it, take out the flashbacks, take out the uh, songs and add in another regiment. But in the end, I did enjoy it, but I don't think I could ever watch it again. Just because it, it wasn't as impactful and if it's, if it's a war film and I, I see soldiers, you know, doing something for their nation, for there, there has to be something about it that, uh, that makes it impactful, incredibly powerful. Yes, I know Border was kind of a, a fictionalized reimagining of a real battle, but at the same time, the way they went about it with a soldier's everyday life. Here, soldiers are immediately put into action. They're immediately on guard as they're trying to going into their own territory, the soldiers own homeland, which has been taken over and trying to, to er, eradicate, take out the pests that have infiltrated. That's basically what, what it's about from the beginning. So immediately it's on edge. It's high tension. There is no everyday soldier life, except for the scene at the very beginning where all, they're all on trucks. They're all on planes, basically being taken to the point, taken to the border. But yeah, in honest opinion, that <laughs> that's my take on it. <laughs> I liked it. Just remove the flashbacks, remove the songs, or at least change the song from the beginning to the very end. But yeah, it's it, a lot of familiar faces. A lot of familiar faces in this film. But yeah, thank y'all for watching. Talk to you next time. Toodles. <laughs>